We are living in an age of technological advancement like no other. The world we live in today is vastly different from the world 50 years ago. Five decades ago, smartphones did not exist, and the general public did not own computers. There was no internet shopping, nor was there any social media. It is undeniable that technology is becoming more and more a part of our everyday life. This has led many theorists to come to the conclusion that with technology being so embedded in every part of our society, technology must be a part of the mark of the beast. Theorists argue that for Revelation chapter 13 to come into fruition, the beast must be able to monitor individuals at a global scale, and the only way to do so is through technology. Revelation chapter 13 verses 16 to 18 say, And he calls with all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save you that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here's wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. Theorists argue that technology will enable Revelation chapter 13 to come into fruition in two ways. In a world ruled by the Antichrist, he desires to have complete control over people and closely watch their every move. This is particularly relevant in the present generation where surveillance has become more extensive than ever before. If you find yourself in or around a major city, it's highly likely that you're being observed by cameras. Even in smaller towns and suburban areas, doorbell cameras have become commonplace, and many cars are equipped with dash cams. Certain theorists speculate that these various forms of surveillance could potentially serve as pathways for the Antichrist to introduce his mark and manipulate people into accepting it. Facial recognition cameras have increasingly become a prominent feature in surveillance systems around the world. These advanced cameras employ sophisticated algorithms to analyze and identify individuals based on unique facial characteristics. They are deployed in a wide range of settings, including public spaces, airports, banks, and even on personal devices like smartphones. While facial recognition technology offers potential benefits such as enhanced security and efficient identification processes, it has also sparked debates and concerns. Some individuals and groups hold the belief that this technology could be exploited by the Antichrist. In this narrative, facial recognition cameras are viewed as potential tools for the Antichrist to monitor and manipulate the masses. They argue that this technology could be harnessed to track individuals, identify dissenters, and enforce compliance with the Antichrist's agenda. As technology continues to advance, the potential for the Antichrist or any ruling power to track individuals becomes increasingly sophisticated. One example of this is the widespread integration of connected technologies in vehicles. In recent times, the majority of new vehicles are equipped with apps or connected platforms that allow owners to remotely access and control various functions of their vehicles. Within these vehicle apps, it is not uncommon to find a feature that logs and stores the complete history of a person's travel routes and destinations. This means that every time an individual drives their car, the app records and retains information about their movements, including the exact locations they have visited. This level of detailed tracking can provide a comprehensive picture of an individual's whereabouts, habits, and routines. From the perspective of those who speculate about the Antichrist's abilities, such extensive tracking capabilities could be perceived as a potential tool for monitoring and controlling people. If the Antichrist were to gain access or control over these vehicle tracking systems, it would enable them to know precisely where individuals have been, potentially allowing for manipulation, coercion, or surveillance. Theorists argue that technology will enable Revelation chapter 13 to come into fruition in two ways. First, they believe that the mark of the beast itself will be a piece of technology that will be placed on the forehead or the right hand. Second, they believe that technology will be used to track and isolate those who do not have the mark in order to enforce its universal implementation. Now let's examine these two points and explore why some people believe that the emergence of the mark of the beast technology has arrived. Firstly, it is important to note that we do not yet know precisely what the mark of the beast is or what the numbers 666 represents. For instance, recent advancements in medical implant chip and RFID, radio frequency identification, technologies have sparked interest in the mark of the beast mentioned in Revelation chapter 13. RFID chips are small computer chips connected to miniature antennas that can be placed on or inside physical objects. They find use in various applications where contactless authentication is desired, such as toll booths, transit passes, passports, and contactless entry keys. To illustrate their function, imagine going to the grocery store, filling up your cart, and simply walking out the door. No longer would you need to wait for someone to scan each item in your cart individually. Instead, 
These RFID tags would communicate with an electronic reader that would instantly detect and ring up every item in the cart. Other examples of technological advancements potentially linked to the mark include neurological connections between the human mind and computers. This technology involves small robotic devices being directly connected to the brain, enabling individuals to control computers with their minds. While this technology is still in its early stages, some view it as a potential avenue aligned with what is described in Revelation chapter 13. The progress in technology is demonstrating that a time may come when physical cash becomes obsolete. Our society is increasingly moving towards a cashless economic system, and it is becoming more evident than ever that financial transactions can be conducted without the use of physical currency. Although the Bible does not explicitly mention a cashless society, many Bible scholars believe that a cashless society is a prerequisite for the fulfillment of Revelation chapter 13. As long as cash is used, transactions can be conducted privately and escape the monitoring of the Antichrist. However, if all transactions become electronic, every financial interaction can be tracked and monitored by the Antichrist. A cashless society is not necessary to fulfill the conditions of Revelation chapter 13. However, it is very plausible that a cashless society could be one avenue that facilitates the control of the Antichrist. The truth is, we don't definitively know. What we do know is that the mark of the Antichrist is a symbol of worship. It represents a permanent allegiance to the Antichrist. Worship lies at the core of the battle between good and evil. The issue of worship has existed long before our time, even before the creation of Adam and Eve. At his very core, Satan is a usurper. He desires to take the worship that rightfully belongs to God for himself, and the mark of the Antichrist represents the point in human history where he will achieve his desire to be worshipped. Though it may be short-lived, the world will worship him with this mark. Idolatry is a serious matter that should not be taken lightly. God does not play games when it comes to his worship. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 8, I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory I will not give to another, nor my praise to carved images. Idolatry is anything that replaces God in your life. Your job could become an idol, you yourself could become an idol, your pastor can become an idol. What are you elevating in the place of God? The Antichrist will elevate himself as God, which is idolatry. People will worship him as God, which is idolatry. Anything that takes the place of God in a person's life is idolatry. Ultimately, the essence of the mark of the Antichrist is not related to buying or selling, control, or anything external. It revolves around worship. Revelation chapter 14 verses 9 to 10 say, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Worship is at the core. Another reason why people believe that technology is at the core of the rise of the Antichrist is through increased surveillance. Countries around the world have increased facial recognition surveillance, email text and phone monitoring, geolocation data from smartphones and vehicles, credit card data, and ad tracking information. Technological tools already are developed to track everyone in the world. Phones can record conversations even when the phones are turned off. This has led more and more people to believe that the Antichrist will use technology to coerce his mark on the world. Although the Bible does not go into detail as to how the Antichrist will operate and take center stage in the world, we can see the tide moving towards his arrival. We can truly see his spirit preparing the heart of mankind for his arrival. Ultimately, in the heart of every person, there is a Christ sitting at the throne of everyone, either Jesus Christ or the Antichrist. There is no spiritual neutrality, there is no middle ground. Thank you.